Hey everybody, Accurate here. Welcome to The Hunter Call of the Wild. We are on Mississippi Acres. It's here. The Deep South. And there is quite a lot of new features to be had in this particular region. For those of you that don't know, The Hunter is a hunting simulator game. And it is an open world where you can pretty much choose how you want to hunt, what you want to do, and uh, whether or not you want to do a story or you want to follow story mode, or just kind of go off and do your own thing. I really enjoy it. I spend a lot of time in this game. I've been playing The Hunter since The Hunter Classic, way back in like 2009 or so. And I've just been, I've been in love with the franchise ever since. But uh, if this is the sort of thing that interests you, I'd definitely check it out on Steam. There will be a link in the description. It is now available on not just PC, but uh, consoles as well. It looks like we got some tracks here. And let's see what kind of tracks we have. Is it going to be one of the new species? It's a gray fox. That is one of the new ones. So uh, let me go through the new... I have a list here of all the new species. I have to write them down because there's so many. But uh, American alligator, common raccoon, gray fox, no, northern bobwhite quail, Eastern Cottontail Rabbit, Eastern Wild Turkey. And then we still have, from other earlier versions of the game, Feral Pig, Black Bear, and White Tail Deer. So, I'm a little concerned about the alligator. I saw one over here before I started recording. I took a shot on it. I don't think I connected. Yeah, I'm not seeing any hunting pressure over here. But uh, there was a female kind of hanging out about 200 meters out. And I took a shot at it with a 30 out 6 and I did not connect. So my current loadout right now, it includes the newest rifle for this uh, that was introduced with the, along with this region. The Coleman 22H Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket is the skin type. I just really, really like the the coloring on this particular one. There's, there's three variations of it. And uh, I think one's a wasp, one's Yellow Jacket, and then I can't remember the other one. But uh, the Yellow Jacket to me looks amazing. I'm also rocking the uh, 243, the 30-06, and a, some binoculars and assortment of collars. And then I'm also carrying around a tent in case I want to set up and adjust the loadout a little bit. So, what we got here? Ooh, this looks like this looks like a trap. I feel like I'm about to get eaten. Subsurface depression, very old. All right, let's keep moving. I turned off the mission stories because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But apparently there's two factions of, of hunters and there's a warden and then there's um she's kind of caught in the middle between them as far as I know. Alright, kind of want to stick to the road. I don't really, don't really want to get my leg munched on by an alligator. I don't know how aggressive they are. Yeah, it's going to be raccoon. Okay, so we got a gray fox warning call. I wonder if I can call it out. The wind is pretty favorable for me right now. It's If it's a warning call, it's not going to be too eager to come out and have a little chat with me. I'm pretty sure the jackrabbit collar will work on the gray fox because it works on the... It says down there at the bottom, affected species red fox... But I don't think they, well, heck, I don't think they have room to add Gray Fox. But I think I think it'll probably work. Let's give it a try. Um, it might not work just because this one's in a... This one's in a heightened alert status right now. I'm thinking I could use my... My new 22 on it. There, I think I see something moving over here. I thought I saw something move right back here. Yep, that's right where I was thinking I saw something. I thought I saw something move like from that way over towards this direction. Let me back out just a little bit.
Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see if I can get it. Well, that did the trick. It's very efficient. That's a loud 22 right there. Definitely not 22 long rifle. Definitely be wearing the earplugs for this one. All right, so we got our first new species of the map with the new rifle. Let's see how we did here. It felt like a heart shot. Oh, yes. Flesh. Left lung. What is that? We got silver on it. I want to see what the heck that was making that noise. I'm sure we'll hear it again and we'll get answers at that point. But uh, let's keep moving here. See what else we can find. And here's our bridge. Hanging out on this bridge might not be the worst idea in the world. Give you clear sight lines to... to... Oh, I see it in the water. Look. You guys see it? Here, let me uh, use the binoculars. on. There it is. Alarmed. Trivial. It's, it's not... It's nothing to write home about, but... I'm going to wait for it to get closer to... Now, the thing is, if I shoot it there, what does it drift over to the side like ducks used to do? How's that work? Is it coming at me? It's going away from me. Or do I? should I wait for it to get to the shore and then take the shot? Or I'm not sure. You, you would think if you shot it and killed it, or maybe I can't even... I wonder if I could even make a bullet connect if I went through the water like that. You guys want to give it a shot? Let's give it a try. Let's see what, what happens here. That seemed like a pretty good headshot. Okay, I don't think... I don't think that one even... touched it. Looks like it's trying to get away. Okay, sort of disappeared. Okay, I'm curious. Is it going to come up over here on this side? Like on this shoreline? Let me move out a little bit. <gasps> what do I got here? I got something right here. Two gray foxes right here. And that one's a level six. Felt like, oh, that one fell off into the, it's going to be alligator meat right there. I was not expecting to see two gray foxes right on the bridge. Goes back to what I was saying. This bridge might, might not be a bad place to set up. If you want to do some uh, ambush hunting. All right. Now I kind of lost track of where this alligator went over here. I don't know. Does that mean it, if it goes into the water, into the deep, does that mean I kind of lost it forever or what? So this is where I saw the alligator. I took the shot. If I'd killed it, there would be pressure coming over this way. I think these two are from the foxes. There are a lot of foxes on this map so far. Now, let's stretch the uh, distance of this. See if we can connect. Looks like we did. There's not a... If, it, if I did knock them on its back like that and connected, there's not a whole lot of area that isn't going to be vital organs. So, I think we're going to have... Three foxes to chase down and zero alligators at this point. Let me see here. Ah, this is a gold. Yeah, we'll taxidermize that. Flesh, heart, right lung. Those are good for cash. Those are really good. If you don't want to grind geese. Yeah, we'll take that one. A gold. All right. A gold gray fox. Or a gray gold fox. I don't know. However you want to say it. All right, let's move over here. I can't imagine this one right here went too far. Go ahead and reload this. I see some blood right here. It doesn't look like an organ hint right there. Yeah. But I... Oh, son of a... 
Are you back? Where are you at? This makes me really nervous to go venturing out here. It's a walk. Yeah, I'm gonna follow the blood. In real life, I'd be like, well, it got away. <laughs> I would not be. Oh, here it is. It's over here. I can see it glowing. All right, let's go see what we got here. Bleed rate medium. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so it was a long shot. Okay, and this is another gold. So this one was very hard. I didn't want to take the time to check both of them to see what their uh, difficulty rating was because I thought they were about to spook. And I was really surprised this one didn't run right away. Let's go ahead and texturize that one as well. Might be able to make a nice little display out of these two. Since uh, multi-mounts are available for, for this region. I gotta wonder if that's the same one. Alright. Let's head over here. I want to see what happened to this fox. And as we move over here, maybe we can get eyes on this alligator. I think it's going to be the same one that I think I hit. Maybe I didn't hit it. Yeah, I, I still don't think it's... I think that's the same alligator. Alright, let's see how we did with this longer shot here. Felt like I was sort of pushing the limits. Okay, we got some... This is right where about, about where it was at. Here's some blood. Okay. No organs hit. Ah, okay. Well. Yeah, it's running now. It's back to running. All right, let me see where I'm at. It's kind of taking me a little bit off course. I'm going to disregard tracking this one. I'm going to start heading back here towards this. Let's just go ahead and leave that one alone. We've got some sort of a need zone here. And a little bit of foot traffic across the road. Next to the next to the cornfield here. That's a lot. What have we got here? Ah, is it going to be quail? All of them? I wonder what I can... I, I could probably use the 22 on a quail. I didn't bring my shotgun. I could always drop a tent and grab the shotgun. Not exactly sure how you hunt the quail. I think you probably just... If they're anything like... They're probably like pheasant, I'm guessing. You just kind of... They'll hide until you get close and then you kind of spook them. What does that sound? That's quail. I think that call out happened the same time as this one. So they overlapped. Is that a, is that a hog right in front of me? It is. I need to uh, upgrade here. Let's take this one out. Oh, hold on. There's another one. I got two of them. I was going to call them in, but uh, never mind. That's a pretty good shot. See if any of them run out towards me in the confusion. Keep an eye out on the road. See if one of them runs out. I think I see one on the right side of the road, maybe. Maybe not. It wouldn't surprise me if one of them took off across the road from, like, right to left. Alright, let's go harvest these two. Oh yeah, they got their little area here. They sort of, uh, destroyed the crops in this particular area. This is a very... Alright, that's gonna be a silver. Kind of move over here, see if I can get a eyeball on this one right here calling out 
Well, honestly, our scent is really good. If I could call one in and hang out right back here, I should get another sh good shot on one at almost point blank range. Wow, that is... That's pretty neat looking too. Nothing new there, but I always, uh, another heart shot and lung. All right, we'll take it. I think I'm just going to, maybe I'll just walk across and look down the aisles. See if I can spot them. See if I can catch him lurking around here. Maybe one or two aisles to the left here. We might get eyes on. This is definitely a unique way to hunt. Down the corn rows. Some more blood here. This is going to be a a bear feeding zone. A gray fox. There we go. Look up. Look up. Please. All right. We got something here. Is this a unique uh, object or no? Oh, it's just a carcass. That's what that is. All right. I got another one here. This is just a female, but I figured I'd take it. Wow. Hunting in the uh in the cornfield is pretty fun actually. Got to say. You can definitely get the drop on a lot of these animals. I think there might have been one more. But uh I'm not that pressed on it. So we've pressured this area pretty well. Let's uh head on over towards the house. It's like disturbed vegetation, or is it? No, it's a resting zone, I think. Yeah, a resting zone for fox. Okay. So it's a wild hog. Vocaliz vocalizing there a little bit. There we go. Are you my wild hog? Yeah, you are. Are you my only wild hog I'm going to get? I'm going to just lay low here for a second. Let them settle down a little bit. I think they said that... I think it said that they were traveling. So I don't think they're going to try to return back to this area. Well, the fox and the hog hunting on this map so far has been excellent. I think they all sort of ran off. All right, let's go up there and claim our bounty. Ah, oh, there's one. I don't think I hit him. I think I, I think there might have been a tree or something in the way. Oh well. I hear something moving around over here. That's gotta be, that's gotta be pheasant. It is. Really? Oh, he, he died. Yeah, he's bleeding right here's blood. 
I was like, that was a horrible landing, bird. You can do better than that. Sorry. All right. He was grounded. Ah. Uh, they have to be airborne then, I guess. All right. Well, I'm trying to shoot him with a rifle. What more do you want from me? All right, so that's how pheasant work. Or not pheasant, but, uh, sorry, quail. I said, said qu pheasant this whole time. I meant quail. Okay. There's our hog. Oh, it's a gold. They're throwing all kinds of golds at us here. Yeah. I'll taxidermize that. I like the black spot fur type there. All right, the wind is favorable for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to call this fox in if possible. Oh my goodness. That was insane. That should get the uh, award for best thunder used in a video game for all time. Well, what have we got here? Nope, can't get through. All right, so I was just rolling around and I saw this off this little access road, just off the main road. Brought me back here to this uh, silo. Looks like it's an old logging camp. Actually, it looks like it might still be active. It's locked up tight. I tried run running the uh, ATV into it. I can't get inside as far as I know. I'm going to check around the outside here. Let's see if there's any way inside. But it looks pretty secure so far. This is a really neat location right here. Nice dock. Well, could use a little bit of repair, I guess, but... Probably a pretty good platform to shoot some alligator from if you can get some in the area here. Yeah, I'm guessing this is still pretty active. Got a nice generator. All right. Oh, wait. Where if I can... Can I open this? No, saw the walk-in door. We're about right here. Okay, begs the question. That's a tough lock right there. All right. Anyway, that was that was kind of cool. I'll show you where it is here on the map here. So yeah, Horseshoe Bend area. It's right here. Oh, we got an alligator ahead of us. Okay. Somehow it's putting out a warning call. It knows we're here. I'm going to creep up nice and slow. Where is that on the map? Oh, it's right in this little inlet. Okay. Good. It means even if it's on the other side, it's not really that far. All right, forget about the raccoon. Let's focus on this alligator. It says in the codex, they have, they can sense vibration. 
So I think being very, very careful how we approach is going to make a big difference. Dang, that alligator's pissed. It's a male, too. I think the only one I saw earlier was a female, if I'm not mistaken. I wonder how far out from the water they come. Oh, I think I see it in the water right there. Nope. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let me see if I can get a shot on this. I think it's dead. I think I got it. Seems like making sure the alligator's dead is something you want to be not uncertain about. Not quite sure. Because it's still moving. Makes me a little nervous. Hope it doesn't have a friend. I think, yep, I think we got it. All right. Well, that was that's pretty exciting. So I kind of went for the lung on that one rather than trying to go for a headshot. So, yeah, there's a big pile of blood right there. Let's see what we got here. My first alligator. I'm so excited. Wow. That is... Oh, you can see right where the bullet went into, right there. Let's see if that was a good shot. Oh, apparently I got vertebrae, but it it counts as a vital organ hit. So, all right, we'll take it. Silver. Shot it from 83.46 meters. I think I hear, I hear water splashing. I can't tell if that's another alligator or if it's just the water lapping up against the uh, shoreline. I wonder if you could put a... I wonder if you could put a uh, tripod stand out here in the water. I think I will definitely put a tent over in this area, though. All right. Well, first alligator. I'm pretty happy with myself. That was exciting. It's always exciting to get a new, uh, new species under the belt. Especially one as... Intimidating as an alligator. Yeah, you know, I kind of like where we're at here. I might just set up a... Uh, might just set up a tent over here. Got boar, rabbit, alligators. All in this sort of area. I think if I set up a tent here, I'll have good... As soon as I get out of the tent I'll have good visibility to my surroundings for the most part so let's do that let's go ahead and drop our tent here spin it the way I want it there there we go that looks pretty nice I think I'll be pretty happy with that yeah yeah not too bad I'm just going to glass this area over here because if there's boar in the area, I definitely want to get a couple shots in on them. Of course, I might not want to use, if I'm if I'm close enough, you know, 165 meters away, I might not want to pressure this area too much if I'm looking for alligators along the, uh, the water line here. So maybe even if I see some boar, I think I'm going to pass this time because I am trying to focus on alligator. There we go, a mating call. Okay, it's right where I'm looking. So that's, we know it's gonna be along the water's edge, right where I'm looking. So I'm gonna put my waypoint over here. It's a little bit off, but that's, hmm. that's pretty close. Okay, 
That way I can get a range on it. And I think what I'll do is I might cut straight out to the water and then kind of curl my way back in quietly. So let's do that. He's around here somewhere. Or did he go, uh, he go underwater on me? I see him. I see him right there. I want him to get a little bit out of the water, I think. Maybe I can shoot him there. Oh. Headshot. I think he's gone forever. I swear I hit him. The question is, will he come back up at all? I doubt it. I think he's gone. Wow, this is a crazy area to hunt. I think once, once he goes into that glide. Oh, what do we got here? He's back. He's back. There he is. All right, I need to go chase him down. That's him. Yep, that's him. All right. Got to go finish him off. I've got to know if that's the same alligator or not. All right, I gotta find out if this is the same one. Could go after the other one, but I need to find out. How's he at? Oh, he's right there. And he's pissed. If I can zero this, I'm going to use my skill to zero this. That's uh, 70. Okay, let's do 72 or 75. Where's he at? I just saw him. Where are you, buddy? 
Oh, you're here. Must have just come up to yell at me. Oh, wow. That's a lot of houses. All underwater. All right. So the next thing they need to introduce since they have the ATVs is they need to have uh, fan boats to navigate these waters. That would be pretty cool. this here ah, that's what I was looking for he's coming this way so I almost think I should just kind of lay low and let him come to me Is that a different one? That feels like it's a different one. That feels like it's on this shoreline, not the opposite shoreline. Uh, I don't know. That one's calm. So this one must be... We must have two here. There he is. There he is. As long as he keeps coming this way, get a good shot on this one. So we have two. Why can't I? There we go. Number six. And can't tell. He's really close. We'll have to take a shot on this one. He's got to resurface, man. I hit him right in the head. I wonder if I I wonder if I should just be going for lung shots. I don't know. I feel like headshots are better cuz their heads actually out of the water. Maybe not. This one's still comp though. 416 kilograms. My god. He's huge. This other one's going to resurface somewhere, though. I just know it. Like the last one did. Probably going to pop up over here or something. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I got that's the same one there.
That one feels pretty far away. Like I kind of want him to just continue to come this way. Like he is. And I'll just hang out here and let him do all the work for me. I'm, I'm definitely taking a lung shot on this one, though. Because the two times I've tried headshots have been horrible. Lung shot worked great. Now, I think that's probably about 150 meters. But I'm going to go ahead and try to range this. Yeah. back there. I just can't see him. In the... There he is. He's up on the uh, riverbank there now. I need to be able to zero here. 150 meters. Yep. I think I think he's done for. Yeah, I think he's right there. All right, next question is how to get over there. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, good. Um I need to figure out a way to get over there. All right. Well, I think I'm just going to have to ATV it over there, probably. Um, probably the fastest way is from... Wow, there is no real fast way to get over there, is there? Probably to go right back here. Alright, let's do it. ATV from there. And I should be able to uh, just go straight towards where the hunting pressure is and... That'll be exactly where he is. That's uh, it's just really weird the way it's set up. I'm gonna take a tent with me so I can set up a tent on that side of the river as well. I'm sure that there's probably cabins over there, but I'm just gonna take this in the meantime. Let's gonna recover that. Let's grab ourselves a tent. Uh, yeah, nice pink tent would be wonderful. We got two of them too. All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I'm gonna head on over there. It's just gonna take a take a little bit. Oh, it looks like we got something over here real quick. Oh, another little outpost to unlock. Just happened to be right on the side of the road. Might as well claim it while we're here. That's a nice looking house. I traded my single wide for that one. Catfish Bank. Bear tracks. Hey, there's a bear right there.
All right, we're in bear country now. Oh, there goes another one. Wow. I think that was pretty, that first shot was pretty good. Let's go uh, check it. We'll see what this need zone is too. Got a little uh, off mission here, but that one sort of fell right out in front of us. Decent amount of blood. Wonder if it gets worse. Non-vital hit. Uh. Not what I was hoping for. Let's see if we got any pressure on the map. We do. So, uh, yeah, the bear's up here somewhere. Just gotta follow, follow the blood. Let's see what this is here. Lots of need zones here. There he is. Or she. Alright. Well, that was just a tar target of opportunity right there. So the bear on this map seemed to be right in this general area here. First bear tracks I saw were down here. Just before this outpost. The Jonesville Lodge outpost here. Um, so yeah. Alright, and then we're going to go up here and see if we can find our alligator. Hopefully. There's still a lot more to this map that we haven't even checked out yet. All right, let's see here. Yeah, first one I missed behind him, and the second one I... Oh, man, this poor bear. This poor bear. All right. And it was a female. All right, well, this should look familiar. We're on the opposite side of the bank. Finally. What is that? Is that it right there? No. Debris in the water, it looks like. Oh, here it is. All right, it's still here. Awesome. Either that or this one's sleeping. No. All righty. Let's confirm this trophy. See how it did. All right. Left lung, right lung with the first one. I really didn't need to hit it again, but I got it in the heart the second time. So, all right. So that's where the heart is on the uh, old alligator, huh? And the lungs really kind of go about to the midpoint between the front legs and the rear legs. So anywhere in that front area there, just below the spine to about two-thirds of the way down to the body, should be good shape. Straight on. Oh, sh snap. Well, let's accept this. And This one sounds pissed off. I think I got that one. That one looked like he reacted pretty, pretty badly to that one. All right, maybe not. We'll see if uh, another splotch appears up here. Get some more pressure. I thought that looked like a pretty good long shot, honestly. Give it a minute here. Where's this one at? Got another one over here? Uh, the scary part is I don't see him. And I'm unloaded, so I need to reload. That's, that's even scarier. Where are you at? I heard you. I just don't see you. It's not like visibility is bad out here either. I think he... What the hell is this thing? That's concerning.
Is that it right there? Did I see something pop up for a half second? Maybe not. There he is. Yeah, he's right there. All right, that's a good shot right there. And he's close. He's fleeing. See, I got another... I got another kill right there. So he should... I think he's going to start floating somewhere. Just the question is where. Oh, is he right here? No. So what happens to the body if they're out in the middle? Do they float over or not? I don't know. Because I definitely got a kill. I don't think it'll let me walk out any further, really. It's going to push me back on shore. No, maybe I just lost him forever. I don't know. We definitely got a double kill here because this is added pressure right here. The only thing that I've been shooting over here is alligator. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the ATV and move over to this bank and see if it showed up over there. Maybe it did. Maybe it like goes straight to the closest bank as the crow flies. I don't know. Let's go find out. Well, folks, I am not sure where that one went, but this was a lot of fun. Definitely, definitely an interesting map to check out. I highly encourage you guys to give it a give it a go, and uh, let me know what you think about it. There's uh, quite a variety of things to uh, to go after here, and uh, the map is so large. I mean, I've been playing most of the night, and uh, haven't even made it. Made it about, or well, made it about halfway. So, all right. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, if you want to pick up the Hunter, link will be in the description below. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all take care.